Hello, good day, and welcome to my World AI. My World AI, as you know, is one of the best uh, research platform anywhere in the world. And uh, today, I want to uh, train you on how to use my World AI to do your research, especially from chapter one to chapter three. Now, what you are going to be learning in this uh, few minutes of training is one: how to do research. The basic step, the basic step on how to do your research, how to do proper referencing and citation using my Word AI and Google Scholar. Those two mar those two marriages makes your citations and referencing uh, super. Uh, how to expand your written content after writing. If the contents are too short, you can expand it either by paragraph or the entire uh, research work. How to do other academic works like a seminar paper, term paper, and academic article. Okay, so in order not to waste much of your time, we are going to delve straight. I told you in this training, you'll be learning that is, we are going to be engaging in two different uh, fair of uh, research, which is one, your normal school research and thesis, and then the second one is other academic works like uh, 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 research paper, seminar paper, term paper, and all that. I'll show you how to use my word AI to do all this. So we go straight to the point. Uh, this is my word AI, as you can see. Uh, this is the front page, and uh, you log in. Uh, I've already logged in. And uh, okay, let's just let me show you this. Okay, once you log in, you click on this left menu bar if you are using a laptop like i'm using now you click on this left menu bar it will open up here to different sections these are different sections you can see the different sections you can see abstract okay you, even if, if, if you can click here now the, everything about here is what you see here, which is all about academic works. Uh, you can see the research topic. This research topic is for only those that have not gotten research topic yet. But if your research topic has been approved by your supervisor, then you proceed to the next level. This abstract, you write an abstract introduction, one point one. This is what we call subsections in research, and then statement of problem, objective, research question, and all that. So. In this first step that we are doing proper research, uh, one to three, the f the, there are three, there are four basic things you actually need. The first one is the research topic. Just like what I said, if you have your research topic already approved, the second thing you'll be needing is, are your research questions. So you need to re generate, if you have your research question, fine. But if you don't have, you need to allow my word AI under 1.4 generate your research questions for you. And then, the third thing you need to have is your ref you need to generate references. I'll show you how to generate re references using my Word AI and Google Play uh, and, and Google Scholar. And then the final thing is how you can expand your content. So we go straight to the point. We we'll click on this research question so that we can generate our research. So our topic for today. Uh, we are using for this research is the importance of internal audit in public sector. So I copy this, I head over to the research question, I'll paste it here, okay, and then um, I click generate. So long as I have enough uh, word count, as you can see, it's already writing out my research question what is the current state of internal audit practices in the public sector? What are the key benefits of? And all that. Now I'll copy this. You can see. Okay. Sorry. I copy this. Control C. And then you can also click here to copy. You can copy text from here. Let's see. Now, after I've copied. I need to save, you need to save that which you have copied. So I can come here, then I call it 
research question. Okay, question. That's it. I've saved it. Or you can also save from here. I can turn there this new document to research question. Question and then I save here. I click here to see. I see successfully saved in the document. Where are my documents on my Word AI? On my left menu bar, you can see all saved documents here. You will click here to expand and you will click all documents. You can see this work I saved now. Sorry, I must call that research one for the graphical error. Okay, so I can always access them there. So I've done that. So the next thing that I do now is I'll go straight to my research. Uh, I'm going to be writing background of study just as a sample work for you to see how this is done. Uh, so I'm going back to research an article writer. And then I still click here. Even if you don't click, you can find under all template and select. So I've seen my background of the study. I open and you see now this is it. Here is asking me for my research topic. Here is asking me for those research questions I generated. So I've pasted my research questions. Let me remove this. Pasted my research question. Let me make it visible so that you can see. You can see the research question. What are the current state? And then uh, I want to copy my topic now i copy my topic and then i put there good now one good thing that you need to do here to get a proper research written is this reference from google scholar i'm going to show you in the next few minutes how to do that so we go straight to google scholar this is google scholar scholar.google.com and then we type our research topic and then you click the go now if you are writing master's research you may need up to 40 50 depending on the coverage of your research so you you can get as much references as you want from uh, this google scholar but now it all depends on the referencing style that your school adopts or you want to adopt for your research we have the APA and other referencing style and seventh edition and other. So you've gotten these different referencings. Uh, these are different research work that you can re reference. And then uh, you can also choose uh, a time range from here, depending your supervisor may tell you that you should, your referencing should be between SUSU year, maybe 2016 to 2023 or 2024, depending. You can set the range here and all that. Now, this is what you do. There are basic things you need from these reference materials uh, to work with on my word AI. And those are the key things that has to do with uh, reference. Uh, which, uh, let me click this one. Uh, okay, sorry, that one is, okay, yeah. Okay, like now, this is a, a, a research work that I want to reference. The first thing I need to copy is the title. And then the second thing, the author's name. The author's name here. And then the third thing, the your publication and the link, the DOI link, and any other thing that will be necessary for my research work. So that's what you copy. I've already copied some. As you can see, these are references. I copied them. You can copy as many as 40, 40, uh, different uh, research materials depending on how many references you want you say this is one as you can see this is for first reference this is for second reference I copied them this is for okay third reference now I want to copy them all out to my word AI I copy them and then I head to my word AI watch me clearly please I click on this reference generator, then 
it opens as soon as it opens uh, we have instructed by default the reference generator to generate based on APA but if you, you so this is why I chat with it if you have any other uh, reference let me click new if you have any other referencing style you want to use you can also indicate it here so maybe I want to use by default it will give you seventh edition of APA so by the, maybe I want to use a okay I can say uh, use okay sorry use APA sixth edition school has in sixth edition okay then I put a full stop and then I paste all the works I've copied from different reference materials I mean all the key uh, highlights so I click send now this this is starts pasted and it will soon start writing this is it it has given me this it has formed it into a proper reference material as you can see this first one second one and third one and then i'm ready to use so whether i know how to create reference or not my word i can help you create proper reference for your research work so i head back to uh, my work you see this is where we are background of studies don't be lost background of studies and then uh, you can see it background of study that is what we are doing now and we've put the topic we've put the research questions that we generated in 1.4 section 1.4 and then we, now we are putting the generated references from uh, a match between my water eye and Google scholar we are ready to start writing now what what does Google Scholar use actually? Uh, sorry, my word AI actually uses these different references generated from Google Scholar. It will, it will uh, crawl this particular research work and write from the author's, different author's point of view, while it will also cite them properly. So I click here. Okay. You can see that I started writing background of studies now that's what they're writing can you see it's giving me quotes it's giving me quotes it's giving me citations different citations and all that and then finally to give me reference now that is how it is now if i want to expand this particular research work uh maybe this paragraph i wanted to write more but if you look down you can see the number of words sorry you can see the number of words say uh, can see the number of words here 707 which is quite small especially we are writing an advanced research work uh, so what you do i can highlight here i like any actual angle you need to read it well though, so that you you know what you uh, have actually chunked out for you now i can highlight where i want to write more and then you come here you see expand content i click on the expand content remember it was 707 it will start writing to expand on this particular one now it's already working on background that you see it has expanded and uh, this way it ended from short paragraph as it was it has written more and uh, we now have instead of 707 we now have 1163 i can expand this one also if i want uh, you can see i can wait from 1163 let me see how how many this will give me wow okay that's giving me 1521 now that is how we roll. I can now save this work. Uh, I can save this work. Let's see. Decide to call it background of studies. I can save it. I can copy it. 
from here I can copy it I can copy it as microsoft word download it i can copy it as text maybe paste it in my existing microsoft word so with that you've seen how to do your normal research you can do that from chapter one to chapter two three and all that and mind you it's not all the section that carries there are some sections you see different things but none of the sections that carries reference so it's just basically background of studies and the entire chapter two that will be doing much of citations and referencing so my word AI can help you do citations just like what you see uh, properly uh, because it's, it's actually writing from the point of view of the uh, author i think i'm going to uh, bring that up in another video I mean how to use my word AI to write other research works like uh, the academic articles and essay, uh, theme paper, seminar paper, book review and other things. So thank you so much. Thank you.